Hi guys, JBlade2000 here, uh, uh, as I readjust the camera. I was going to do my other two parts to the Sword Art Online videos, and they are coming. It's just that uh, college has started, and I got a new job working for Walmart um, the same week that I got to college. So... I just haven't made videos, I haven't had time, just, well, I guess I've had time, but I, I just, there have been a lot of projects, a lot of learning on my new job, and at the end of the day, I just kind of want to just uh, sit down and just watch some videos. So, that's why I haven't been especially making my videos. Now... I want to warn you guys right off the bat that this video will have cussing in it. Now, if you've watched the videos on my channel, you know that I am not a cusser. I do not cuss out loud. But for me to make this video right, I am going to need to cuss. And I want to say that this video is for everyone. Christian, atheist, uh, Muslim, what have you, gay, straight, um, trans, whoever you are. This this video is for everyone. Uh, unless you are just, you know, one of those um, fucking people who just comments, you know, fuck you because you believe differently than me. Don't do that. And that's, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. But, um... I want to talk about a litmus test of Christianity. And before I get started, what actually is a litmus test? Well, in science, a litmus test is when you determine the alkalinity, I believe that's a word, or the acid, uh, or the acidity, there we go, that's how you pronounce it, of something. It, it determines whether or not it's alkaline or acid. So a litmus test in this case would be determining whether you are a Christian or not. And I, I have, in this, this past week, found and subscribed to a channel called uh, Sargon of Akkad. And, he, and he's a very good, I, I urge you to check him out. Uh, he, he is uh, very smart, very well versed in logic. Um... And, and so, um, I, I was looking on his videos one day, and I saw a link to, um, something, uh, to a channel called The Vegan Atheist. And so I looked on there, and, yeah, he's, he's atheist, but he, he does bring up some good logical points. But the comments, I'm, I'm, I mean, you knew the comments were going to be cancer anyways, but the comments, it, it wasn't just the, the, the atheists saying, you know, fuck Christians, you know, there, there were Christians in there saying, you know, fuck atheists, you know, and I, I, I just don't understand, guys, I, I don't understand that. In, in John, in John, uh, I believe it is 1514. It says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And what are Jesus' commandments? Jesus' commandments were to love everyone as yourself, even your enemy, and to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. Now, if you are supposed to love everyone, why are you calling them a fuck? on the internet. Does that show love? No, it doesn't. It doesn't if you just call someone an idiot for believing differently than you. Uh, one of Sargon's videos talks about, takes a step back from feminism. He asks, why do people not like feminists? Why are people so against it? Well, their conflicting uh, beliefs they get upset over the tiniest little thing. Um, 
they use language like privilege and patriarchy that don't really mean anything, and we don't understand what they mean. And so, I want you guys to step back and ask, why do people not like Christianity? Well, first off, our religion talks about loving people. Ev everyone, whether atheist or whatever, knows that Christians are supposed to love one another. So, when we hold out signs and scream at people because they are gay or trans... That's not showing love. And so it's a contradiction. It's being hypocritical. And I'll, I, I might get into the whole, you know, gay, gay trans issue later. But not in this video. But it, it just... I, I, I mean, you're calling people out for something that they can't change. That some people cannot change about themselves. And you are hating them for it. And you are claiming that you are a Christian. Jesus got mad at the Pharisees for being hypocritical. And he'd be mad at you too. If you hate people and call yourself a Christian. You cannot hate people and call yourself a Christian. You are a fake Christian if you do this. Okay? Because Jesus didn't yell at people to get them to follow him. He didn't yell. He had dinner with tax collectors, prostitutes, and Samaritans. You know what Samaritans were back in Jesus' day, back in the Roman Empire day? The Jewish saw them as these horrible, abominable people. These damnable people. And we do the same thing with gays and trans, just because they're gays and trans. Sure, there are asshole gay and trans people out there, but there are probably a lot of good trans and, and gay people out there. There are a lot of asshole Christians out there. There aren't really Christians because they are assholes. If, if Jesus ate supper and forgave prostitutes and Samaritans and tax collectors, should we not do the same for trans and gay people? What if the trans and gay people are coming out now that this whole thing has blown up now so that we could weed out the hateful, spiteful, fake Christians from the ones that actually love people? Jesus said, if you follow me, you will do my commandments. That is the litmus test. That is what determines whether you are a Christian or not. Is love people. Is show love to everyone. Is to love everyone. We sing all these songs about how I was a sinner. About how you were lost. About how... Uh, you got caught, so caught up in sin uh, that Jesus saved a wretch like me. But we have to realize we are so thankful for Christ. I am so thankful for Christ for bringing me back to Him. I was one of those people that was lost and He brought me back. We sing that, but that can happen for the gay and trans people, too. That can happen for anyone, too. Anyone can be that, uh, uh, that sinner and be brought back to his light, regardless of race. Regardless of what you believed before, what you did before, he has erased it. You are a free creation if you believe in him and confess with your mouth and heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
those are the defining characteristics. It's not whether you are uh, heterosexual or whether always a man or always a woman. It's that you have faith and believe and act accordingly with that belief, but there are people yelling on the street corners. And you know what? Movies aren't helping. God's Not Dead 2. I, I just despise this movie because the whole classroom thing was stupid. The girl, if, if you watch the movie, you know the girl asks a question about Gandhi and Jesus. Gandhi is a historical figure. Jesus is a historical figure. No one disputes this. Not even atheists. They know Jesus was an actual person who lived. They just don't believe he is a God-man. And so the teacher answers, yeah, and answers with the words of Jesus, a historical figure. And uh, some person, you know, um, t tweets, text, whatever, out you know, all this stuff. And and the school board gets all scared and, and da da da. But if they actually, if, if, if the school board actually thought about it, wouldn't they ask all of the students? I'm, I'm, I mean, sure, you, you have people like that one boy that are, are just going to, you know, uh, uh, distort things no matter what. But surely there are other classmates that will go, yeah, she, she just answered the question. It was a historical question. She answered in a historical way. But no, they make a whole big deal out of it. They don't even question the students in the classroom what happened. And I, I think a real school board would do that. Um, but that's not the real issue here. The real issue is when they're protesting about the trial. Guess who are the peaceful, quiet ones? And guess who are the loud, obnoxious assholes? The atheists are the loud, obnoxious assholes, and the Christians are the sweet, silent protesters. Even though, you know, we protest loudly and say stuff like, fuck you, to people on the internet, which you should not do if you're a Christian, by the way, because that's not showing love. No, well, okay, uh, I rescind that statement. Kind of. Well, okay. If the person is just being an asshole and is just not listening, you can call them an idiot, because that's not what they are. Just just don't call them, like, fuckface or something. Okay? Uh, anyway. So, Christians are protesting loudly and obnoxiously about these sorts of things. But that's not what's shown in God's Not Dead 2. It's only the atheists that are the bad guys. It's only the atheists that are loud and obnoxious. And it's not like that, guys. There is a litmus test to prove whether you are a Christian, and that is if you follow Jesus' commandments, and that is to love people. Now, Christians do not believe that they are perfect. I do not believe I am perfect. I'm not. I make mistakes. And anyone can make mistakes and slip up. In fact, I have lost my anger in uh, my Pokemon video. If I go back and watch it now, I will actually kind of cringe because I sounded really angry in that video. I am so sorry, guys, for that. I, I, don't, I don't know what was going on there. And I'm, I'm trying not to sound all angry and stuff in this video. Uh, it just... That's, that's the litmus test. Yes, we can mess up. But there's forgiveness in messing up. There is. Um, but when you say you're sorry, when you repent, a repent means a turnaround. You were going in this direction. Now you've repented. Now you're turning the other way. And so with repentance, you have to do something, repent, and not do that thing again. Anyone can mess up. That's why we need a savior. But if you keep doing that thing and 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 keep doing that thing, then 
your actions will probably belie what you say. And so we, we as Christians need to take a step back and, and take the litmus test ourselves. Jesus loved people. He didn't yell at them. Do I yell at people just because they believe differently than me? If so, you're not a Christian. It comes down to experience. I have experienced God's love and God's protection and the love of Christians. But other people haven't. They have been brutally um, abused or, or raped or, or mentally and, and verbally abused by people who profess to be Christians but aren't, and that is why they're so adamant that God does not exist and won't listen to anything we have to say. We need to take a step back, fam. We need to take a step back, guys, and look at this. People hate feminists because they have uh, um, they have hypocritical viewpoints. They say we're feminists, treat feminists equally, that's the point, but they are, they are uh, sexist against men. Feminists use language like patriarchy and white privilege and, and all that shit, but it's, it's not real. And we as Christians, we don't realize it, but we have a Christianese, blood of the lamb, salvation, word of God, sword of the spirit. We need uh, to, to an outsider, it sounds crazy, and we don't even realize we're doing it. And, and, and we need to take a step back and be like, uh, yeah, th this is what I mean by this, really. Um, and the, the hypocritical viewpoint, I, I already said, we say our religion is a religion of love, but then we go out and hate people just because they're gay or trans. We need to love those people. Yeah, the, the Bible does say uh, homosexuality is an abomination, and I will get to that later. But uh, we need to love these guys. Jesus would love them if he was here on earth, because they're people. If all people are created by God, if all souls, all everything is created by God, then those gay people are created by God too. And we're supposed to love them. It's, it's not that hard, guys. It's a litmus test to prove whether you're a Christian or not. And you can mess up, but that's why there's grace. That's why we have a Savior, is if you mess up, you can go to him and say, I'm sorry, I did this. I need grace. And he will grant you grace. But if you keep doing it, if you keep doing it, if you keep doing it over and over, not show love, not show love, not show love, not show love, not show love. If you just hate, 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 hate. People will not listen to you. Uh, there, there was an atheist, and he was, he, he was watching a video of this Christian comedian. Uh, and, and the video is titled, you know, a question that trumps atheists and stuff. And, and I thought the guy's statement was a pretty logical argument. If God doesn't exist, why are you so offended at him? Um, the, the humorist says... And the atheist has a logical statement. Well, if Allah doesn't exist, would we be offended at him if his face was on the coin? If, if the coin said, in Allah we trust, which is a logical statement. But he said in such a way, he was cussing the guy out. Like, you, you fucking deterrent, you, you, you fucking hoe, you. And I didn't want to listen to him. I didn't want to listen to him because he was cussing him out and yelling. He had logical points, but I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to see his logical points in the video because he was yelling and being an idiot and being rude. That is why people hate Christianity today, guys. That is why we need to step up. We need to step up and show love to all these people. And guys, if you're not a Christian, I apologize sincerely. I apologize from the deepest depths of my heart. If you have been 
abused by someone who has called themselves a Christian, if you have suffered any malice just because of what you believe by someone who professes to be a Christian. Because if they don't treat people like Jesus would, then they're not. That is the litmus test. That is what you must do to be a disciple of Jesus. Because Jesus didn't hate. He loved the outcast. He loved uh, the sinner. He loved those people. And if we can't love those people, then what's the point? What is the point if we cannot do what Jesus did? And God will help you with that. God will help you love people. Because it's hard to love people. It is. But... Uh, but you have to. And God will help you. You can pray for God to help you. You can look in the Word for help. But don't hate. Because being hateful is not being Christian. Thank you for your time, anyone who watches this. God bless your day. JBlade2000 out.